Hi teachers, in this training, I want to show you a little bit about Google Arts and Culture and what it has to offer in terms of building your own collections of art. So I love this feature So because I don't have to spend time downloading all these images, uploading them into Google Photos, or copying and pasting a whole bunch of things into Google Slides. I can add photos into my own collections right within Google Art arts and culture and then share those links from this directly into google classroom and students can access that and better yet when they pull up the artwork they get all the information about the artwork so i am on google arts and culture which if you need the web page it's artsandculture.google.com and there is a ton of things here that you're definitely going to want to explore. But for the moment, I'm just going to focus on building that collection. So I am going to pick something random and we'll go into photography. Okay, so you can heart entire already put together collections or you can um, heart specific artworks. So we'll pick some artworks here. photography. This can be a great um, way for you to build your own collection that either goes with the topic that you're teaching about or better yet, um, sometimes when I explore some of the different collections, some of the images that come up are things that I may not want to share in my class depending on what age group I teach. So once you have things favorited, you're going to head over to the favorites tab in the upper right hand corner and you'll see all of your favorites here and then you simply would move over to galleries i'm not sure why they haven't yet made galleries its own tab up here that's kind of annoying but it is what it is i click the plus sign and then i would just select whatever i want for my favorites click continue give us a title I can give it a description and then I want to make sure I turn on the public link because I want to be able to share this with my students. There's nothing in this that um, I would worry about other people seeing. So we're going to go ahead and click done. And then all I have to do is tap on one of the photos and it will pull up my collection and you'll notice you can delete your collection, edit the features, you can get that unique link for your collection or even better, you can click on that share button and you can come down and click on the classroom icon. It will automatically open up your Google Classroom and then you would choose a class um, from your list and then choose which of the four things you want to do with the collection. Do you want to create an assignment with it? ask a question, make an announcement, or create material. And from there, it'll post right into your Google Classroom, and then you can go back into your Google Classroom and edit that assignment if you need to add more information to it. So hopefully you find a lot on Google Arts and Culture, and um, you see that all that it has to offer. They've created some nice curated collections. We'll just say nice collections. I can't say certain words um, today. Nice collections that you can use. Notice the share button is there for some of those collections. So you can share pre-made collections out with your students. There is the capability of students um, at the upper grades where to have phones. They can get the app on their phones as well. There's a fun trying to pose yourself. So they've got some really neat information there for artists and art enthusiasts.